What's up guys, this is Kyle from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by vapor. And today I'm gonna to be doing another build tutorial for you guys, and this coil is awesome. I'm calling her Nichrome Frenzy. So what you're gonna to need today to do this build is some 24 gauge Nichrome, some 28 gauge Nichrome, and some 32 gauge nichrome and this is why she's called nichrome frenzy you're also going to need your standard tools some needle nose some wire cutters scissors to trim your cotton and i'm going to be wrapping around a three millimeter screwdriver bit today and oh yeah of course a power drill now kind of like the transformer build this coil is going to be doing what's called stage heating so our twisted 28 gauge is actually gonna ramp up first and then the Clapton is gonna kick in and also be used to kind of dissipate the heat. So it produces kind of a warm to hot sort of vape. And I've been using her right around 70 watts, which is 3.64 volts, which is just perfect for me. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a single coil today. I originally tried to do it in a dual setup and it was coming out to around 0.09, which is just a tad low for the IPv4. It needs at least a 0.1. So what I did was I put her into a single coil setup and it's a 0.19, which is just fantastic. So let's take another rip and get building. First, what we want to do is pull off about six, seven inches of this 24 gauge nichrome, and we're going to be wrapping a Clapton around this 24 gauge. So, we want to take one end and kind of hook it, and to get her nice and straight, we're going to put that looped end into the teeth of our chuck, hold the other end with our pliers, and spin it for about five seconds. Nice and straight. Then you're gonna to wanna to cut off about six feet of 32 gauge nichrome. Then you're gonna take that 32 gauge and wrap about two inches around the looped end of your 24 gauge. So it should look just like that. You're gonna stick that whole end back into the chuck. Then when I clapped in this wire, what I like to do is use my thumbnail to kind of pinch or squeeze that 32 gauge underneath the 24 gauge and I just let that wire run right through my fingernail around the 24. And there is our Clapton wire. Now the second wire to this build is going to be 28 gauge nichrome. So we're going to pull off about two feet of this. We're going to need three sections of equal length. So what I like to do is bend the wire on both sides and then grab the other end with your opposite hand and then pull it till it's snug. And then what you can do is you go to one side and trim all three wires together and then slide along until you get to the other side and trim there. So now we have 328 gauge of equal length. And then what you want to do is fold or bend one end over itself help it grab in the chuck. What I like to do to make sure all these wires 
are have the same tension is I kind of slide along them and then I take my pliers and I curve the other end and hold it tight and now we're just gonna spin these And there is our twisted 28 gauge nichrome. Now we're going to take our 3 millimeter screwdriver bit or 2.4 or whatever you happen to be wrapping this around and we're going to do the clapton first and the end that you snipped so you have the looped end over here and the raw end over here that's the one you're going to start with. So you're going to hold that and then holding onto the looped end you're going to wrap your coil. We're going to do five wraps. Then what I like to do is take my pliers and pull the leads so I get all the slack out. So your Clapton coil should look like this. So now you're going to take your 28 gauge and pop it in to the grooves of the Clapton. So you got there, so we're just going to pull those right into those spaces. And the tension of the Clapton will help keep this wire in place. So that wire will only have four wraps. And then again, we take our pliers pull on the leads. So go ahead and snip our leads, making sure one end is longer than the other. And there she is. So what's going to happen is the twisted 28 gauge will ramp up first and then we'll see the Clapton ramp up after it. So let's go ahead and install this puppy. Alright, so I'm going to be using the Twisted Messes RDA today and the battery is going to be the IPv4S. Get our coil as close as we can to the center post. Grab our little hex head and tighten them down. Trim our extra wires. Center her up a little bit. Doesn't look like the top cap is gonna catch there. So when you're done tweaking up this coil, it should fire something like this. You see that triple twisted 28 ramps up first, and then the Clapton. So let her cool off for a second, and then wick her. And she is coming in right at 0 0.18 ohms, so a little lower than my original build. Right, and she's ready to be juiced. I'm gonna be dripping some Toucan Sam by Vapor Hut. This is our Fruit Loops flavor. It is absolutely amazing. It's definitely an all day vape. Um, a lot of flavors I absolutely love. I can't go tank after tank after tank or just keep dripping it all day. But this flavor, <laughs> I can't tell you how much of this I've gone through. It is probably my favorite so far. What we want to do is fire her a little bit, pull in some of that juice to the coil, and a little bit more. Oh yeah, she's angry. So I'm using two out of three of these little notches in the airflow open, and I'm using an adjustable airflow drip tip, fully open. Flavor, flavor, flavor.
So that's the Nichrome Frenzy. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I was kind of running out of wire, so I decided to kind of see what I could put together, and I'm really liking this build. Well, this has been Kyle from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by Vapor. Have a great day, guys.